Finally, D-Day has arrived. My enthusiasm was higher than Everest. I could not wait to see so many other motorcycles. No, not exactly what I was expecting. But after a while, they started to arrive. 450 distinguished gentlemen were expected, for the city of Oporto. And more than 700 came. Some even brought wine, discreet jackets, discreet helmets, girlfriends, wives, and even sons, who abandoned the PlayStation at home. But others decided to bring the PlayStation to real life. And I was one of them. Welcome to Racer TV. Not a proper behavior from a distinguished gentleman, but what would life be without some fun? What a wonderful ride. Not perfect, but always a delightful thing to experience. You are probably asking yourself, where is my usual road partner? The little Honda, which last year helped me capture these lovely images. Unfortunately, this time she did not want to come. For some reason, the spark had some problems with the spark. And I mean literally. A few days earlier, Francesco decided to install a new condenser. The engine was running perfectly the night before. But when the trip day came, this was the sound that something was wrong. Although dressed as the most elegant mechanics in the world, nothing worked. We tried everything we could, and yet, the spark decided to stay home. Fortunately, my friend Carlos kept me company on the road. His Honda looks like the factory version of my own. may be the perfect partner for some competition. Or maybe not. But let's try it again. What you just saw, is interesting, but not exactly fair. That Honda, is a CB200, which means that it has 20 horsepower. Five horses more than mine. But here are some details about them. Like Carlos said, very strong at the beginning, and almost identical at top speed. But even so, his presence gave me the cafe racer taste I was expecting from this day. The tour that was scheduled for this year has had to be cancelled due to a cycling competition. 
And this explains the city traffic, during the whole ride. A very hard trip, for any old motorcycle. But it was also a good opportunity. For some nice moments. Check this couple, on this beautiful BMW. Notice the similarity, between the color of the rider's jacket, and the color of the fuel tank. Perfectly combined. And here is what I asked him later. Another pleasant moment that I had never experienced was being recognized by some fans of the channel. Definitely very good moments, of recognition. This year, I was surprised by the feminine support. Much more women than the previous year. And many of them, brought their own machine. Speaking of machines, there weren't as many cafe racers as I would have liked to see. But I found several other interesting motorcycles, like this Leonard Daytona 125. I would not believe it, if the owner didn't say it. But this has really a 125 twin cylinder engine. The variety of brands, was really significant. Lots of Vespas. Many BMWs. Triumphs. Ducatis. Kawasaki's. Suzuki's. Yamaha's. Many Harleys. And of course, loads of Hondas. This year, the destination was Lesa de Palmera. A beautiful place was chosen, for the main photography. The only problem, is that most of us had to be out, because of the lack of room. Like I already said, not a perfect distinguished gentleman's ride, but even so, I definitely want to do it again. And returned home, with a big smile on my soul. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.